से साधु 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 सो डियर दम फ्रेंड्स we need to come to meditation practice sometimes it feel very difficult and it uh, and the mind is kind of like a struggling actually the meditation technique or the meditation is not difficult the very reason why that we experience because mainly in day to day our mind that whatever the pattern we develop in our mind is going to to change so that change it's kind of like bringing kind of like discomfort that discomfort mostly we'll see it through the 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 meditation and then we think practicing meditation is difficult actually practicing meditation is not difficult but the thing is in day to day life the pattern that we already develop is strong so that's why little by little same like how the how the the plants grow little by little you have to allow your mind to nourish with the practice so you cannot push too much and also you cannot let go you cannot give up you develop the consistency and at the same time you don't keep any resistance so that way you allow your heart to become little by little little by little to get out of the all other mental activities and come to a empty moment so becoming empty is it ever it make you available for anything and that make you strong because we are mostly in life if you look very carefully in life we mostly precondition our everything and then we ready to go with that only but when you become completely empty there is no pattern there is no method there is no habit so then your mind become available for anything that is the 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 most important part you get you can go to any direction and also that itself that freedom once you come to that empty moment the the freedom whatever you experience in that moment that experience also you not going to hold or collect so then you you get out of the collective nature also so then naturally you ready to experience anything why that we like to experience only the good because because in that experience we we like to hold clinging but just imagine when you new become empty when you have the empty mind and you just experience without clinging and you don't collect the memory so then the good or bad both action it is just a moment so then you are not afraid even for any negativity to to face why because you're not going to hold it it's just the the moment that is what through practice you have to develop in deeply in your mind because when you able to to develop that empty moment with the clarity without clinging or resisting holding any experience you it's okay for you 
So, but the thing is, it is just not the idea, just by believing, thinking about it, appreciating, appreciating it, you cannot fulfill that. You have to practice. You have to allow little by little, little by little, your mind to, to grow. So in that process, it is not the, the knowledge that we develop in day-to-day -day life. This is completely different. That is the important thing. Because in day-to-day -day life, to maintain or to study or to work, we, we of course, we need a knowledge. And to have a very conventional life with others, we have to have a certain understanding. But that understanding and deeply that this understanding is totally different. Because that understanding, to go with something, you already, you already have a path to, to walk. You go with that. It's like when you go to workplace and they say, okay, do this, 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 like that way. So then you go keep doing like that way. That's why we become kind of like a machines. And if you look every day yourself at your home, just if you have the bird view regarding your own life, you will see the same way you go to sleep. And even the same kind of you know, the way you move your body when you go to sleep and while you're sleeping. And uh, you can ask from your parents or ask from your husband or wife how you move at night in a certain time period. You do the same kind of things. And sometimes you're sleeping and talking, same kind of things. You, you know, at you know, maybe midnight, you start to... to and then when you wake up, the same way, observe yourself, put a camera. Nowadays, you can buy a you know, camera and put it there and just record your, your life. Not about others. Just look yourself. One day enough for you, you will understand. Oh, otherwise have a bird eye view, you know, view regarding yourself. You will see. And same way you wake up and same way you get out of the bed, same way you go to the bathroom, same way you brush the teeth and the same, you know, toothbrush, same toothpaste, many, many years maybe. But you, you, you know, the branded hijack you. Then in the shower, the same way, at the same time period, you know, the same movements. Sometimes it's, you know, it's a kind of like a photocopy machine every day. It's a photocopy machine. You, you go, if you take 100 years and you, the, the one year, if you think, oh, I live one year and then you collect it every day, that one year and you look from the, the top, your own life, how it moves, it's kind of like a photocopy machine. You know, the same thing you keep repeating, repeating, repeating. That's, that's, it happened through the sansara, you know, the, the through entire, you know, the journey. It's keep happening. Maybe little, little, you know, the outside things change. Why this? Even you do the same thing. Why? you cannot do it in a, with the very clear, fresh, open mind, then it become very complete new. I tell you of one example. When you eat, like as example, whatever the, the bread or the rice or, you know, chapati or, or burrito or anything, whatever you eat, okay? So you're giving to other person every day the same food, same food, same food. And then after a few days, that other person look at the plate and will tell, oh, we eat this yesterday, day before yesterday. Why we eat this every day? See, that he not eating the, the food on, on the plate. He eating that all food 
that whatever in the previous days that he is eat in 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 his mind he eating that food with this so if you you know when you have the hunger you ate that and that finish and then in this very moment it is very fresh new you know in this very moment so why you why you come to a point to collect uh, that memory and put it to this moment because this is a habitual pattern mentally that we keep doing can you separate that everything and this moment is a very new moment you know the the food is you know the it is new and it is not the same maybe you think it is kind of like the same it is not the same it's a, it's completely it has a different journey you didn't see it but you cannot catch it you are, why because you are in another world you cannot catch that the freshness the newness the the bliss within the the moment that you have so then you complain so everything the same so then all remember this in this journey in the practicing meditation is a different way you get out of that path and you develop a completely different path so you have to do it little by little little by little slowly and when you do it only thing is develop the clarity moment by moment moment by moment clarity one time buddha gave us uh, the uh, gave us sutta uh, the, the that sutta name called nikatta kaya sutta the nikatta kaya nikatta kaya sutta is kind of like uh, this body and mind how you maintain and where you keep it and uh, there are four kind of people so one is nikatta kayo anikatta chitto so nikatta kayo means there sometimes you you like to be alone you like to stay away from things so nikatta kaya means you you becoming alone kaya is body nikatta is a kind of like separating from things and mostly and when you look for practice in a spiritual level in, in, you can explain this in a conventional level and you can explain it in a con, uh, spiritual level so conventional level in in day to day life sometimes you, you like to be alone physically yeah but your mind is so busy with something and that in, when it come to spiritual interpretation of this sutta sometimes people like to go to forest stay in the forest and even the for, for forest monks you know people appreciate them and they more respect forest monks and because they mostly practice meditation and so here what it say and sometimes people like to go to retreat centers and stay away from everything so in this sutta what the buddha said nikatta kayo anikatta chitto maybe your body is in close to the forest in the forest with the forest but your mind in greed hatred delusion anger jealousy with that so just wherever the body is not important when it come to spiritual practice it directly talk about the mind so the condition of the mind 
is the most important part. But sometimes we like to be alone, separate, and we think that separate when we alone ourselves, oh, it is good. But sometimes look, mostly when people get angry, what is most people does? You know, go and you know close the door and stay away. See, physically they stay away. But in mind, you know, it's a kind of like a, you know, going roller coaster. It's kind of like a nuclear bomb, you know, in mind. And so when you get disappointed, so you stay away. And sometimes even you don't eat. You know, so in, in, in spiritual practice also, maybe you, you practice one meal per day, you know, and but how about when you get angry, when you get mad, you know, you don't eat maybe. But that doesn't mean it giving any kind of practice to you. See, the, the action, the, the same kind of action, but see the condition of the mind. So, anikatta kayo, uh, nikatta kayo, anikatta chitto. So, the body is in the forest, but the mind is in kind of like in the city. So, in the city here means the busyness and the greed, hatred, delusion, anger, jealousy, so like that. So, the mind is there. And for some people, anikatta chitto, nikatta kayo. And the, they are in the city, having a, a, with the very busy people, you know, but their mind is like in the forest. Calm, relax, loving kindness, compassion, generosity and the, the wisdom so like that and uh, the physically maybe they don't go that much to to temple or visiting monks but the mind is completely different but physically, they are in a you know, very busy place. And the third person, Anikatta Kayo, Anikatta Chitto. There are some people, it's kind of like the, the body and mind, the both with the greed, hatred, anger, jealousy, so like that, full of darkness with them. So, and another person, Nikatta Kayo, Nikatta Chitto. They are in the forest. The mind also, with the loving kindness, compassion, generosity, wisdom. So they practice really that way. So this kind of people with us. Why I bring this sutra like this way? So in your life, and I'm going to give a different analogy regarding this sutta. And you know, home owners, homeless people. And everywhere, mostly homeless people. There are some people, they have homes. They are home owners. But they live like homeless people. They live like homeless people. I don't need to explain how the homeless person's character. They are, a, they, they are homeowners. They, they have a home. But they live like homeless people. And there are homeless people. Even in that homeless situation, they live like homeowners. So that's mean, you know, there are some people, even when they have a little hut, they keep it very clean, you know, and even 
I have seen some flowers, they keep a little bit, you know, around them, flower pots. And they keep, you know, every day morning, if you go to Los Angeles, there are some people, you know, early morning, they wake up and, you know, clean their, their place. And also they help for other people. And I know one homeless person here, you know, next here close by in this park. And I used to talk to this guy, and and he told me there is uh, one person in that homeless community. They also have community. They have kind of like a boss, leader, and they listen to him. And there is a person, and he have you know toolbox. And so whatever the you know the cell phone or if the, anything that a little radio, if anything break down, he picks it. He picks for, I asked, he, he charge anyone? No, no, no. He help, he, he, he help all that, everybody in that, that homeless community. Even when they don't, if somebody don't eat, he give his food also. And if uh, somebody need emergency for some money, little bit, and sometimes he give that money also. So he's a homeless person, but look, he's generous. He have the compassion. You know? And uh, sometimes that uh, when they when they see some trash, you know, and they collect it and they put it to the trash can. They, they like that. There are some. So see, home, home owners sometimes, they have the home, but they, they live inside that, kind of like homeless, always fighting, you know, blaming each other, the anger always, you know, fear other people, love everybody afraid to live inside the house sometimes with that person. No. So it's like that. But when you have, the, you are homeless, but still, you know, you have a kind of like, a, you live like a home. And there are some people homeless, physically homeless and mentally also they homeless. There are some people and there are some people so they have their home owners physically, materially they have house and mentally also, you know, they, they have that and they develop their life with that. They nourish their life with that character and take caring as a family, living as a family, think as a family, you know, helping each other, husband, wife, and sometimes, you know, even that the people have husband, wife, when they go to, they, when they go to go out, sometimes their friends used to remind that the other person, hey, you married, hey, you have a wife, hey, you have a husband, remember? So like that they have to re remind, why? Because they forget. They get lost in their, you know, this emotional world. But when you become a homeowner, you're not like that. You take it as a responsibility. You take it as a bliss. You go with it. So then remember this body and the mind, the both that we need this both, but don't separate it. To bring that both together, that's why we practice the tranquility meditation. That is the main thing. So in day-to-day -day life, it is not just sitting. In day-to-day -day life, remember yourself. So develop the body and mind together with any action that you do. So whatever the action you do, bring your mind to that action. So mindfully you perform your action. When you develop that little by little, little by little, what will happen? 
your mind is start to become more clear, sharp, strong. And with that, then you can go to the, the higher level of practice vipassana. Because in that vipassana level, you have to have a that the strong, very clear, sharp awareness. Otherwise, you cannot catch it. As I mentioned from the beginning, because we used to develop different kind of pattern in the world to look outside, depending from outside, go with outside, so like that way. So, but when you come to point to bring your body and mind both together. So in that moment, you start to experience something. That is what called Samadhi. O Kevalya. O Satori. O one point, so one mind. So in that level, you able to understand something beyond this material world. It is can it, it can catch by only the mind. Because we used to catch everything by hands, you know, with this physical world. But we, we used to see things materially with the name and form. But this, underneath this, there is something that giving the space for this everything. That's why this everything can exist. That is what called change. If there is no change, this anything cannot exist. So the you know, physical eye, you know, in the conventionally, for this physical body, we cannot grab that change. We, we always grab the solidity. That is what called world. But if you deeply understand how this solidity facilitated from where it come, you start to recognize it come out of the, the change. The change come out of the emptiness. So that when you come to that understanding, so anymore with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, you're not going to experience the solid world the way we experience today. Even though you see, even though conventionally you accept it as something, your mind not going to be there. That is where you gain the total freedom, total emptiness. In that total emptiness, any direction you can move. Anything without precondition, anything you can accept. That is where you're going to experience your liberation. So with that, I bless upon everyone with this good practice. May all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, May all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbitiyo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayu suki diga yuku bhava. Ittavata cha mi sampadang punya sampadang sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhiya. Sabbe bhuta numodan tu sabb sampati siddhiya. Sabbe satta numodan tu sabb sampati siddhiya. Idam me punya kamang asavakaya vahang hotu. Sabb dukkha pamchatu. Bless you.